Hey guys, welcome back to MSGU. Uh, la la last episode we did Hermit Grab, our last key quest for two star, which will let us proceed into three star. I'm gonna show you. In case you missed out, I'm gonna show you. We unlock the urgent quest. Here we have to fight Tetsukabra in order to continue on with 3 star. Because we can't do any more 3 star. He is a 3 star, but we can't do any more until we kick his ass. Okay. But before we do that, I want to. I want to do some villager quest requests. The villagers throughout throughout the world, they want us to do things for us. They have tasks for us. Go here. Go to your monster list. Not monster. Monster request log. I'm stupid. Go to your request log, and you go here. And that way you can see what I'm talking about and uh, in this case the reliable villagers okay so you guys don't know you guys are like complete the two star village quest okay which quest which one is it what's he talking about we gotta find out in a second slay the Velociprey slay Gia Prey and slay some Jagia okay I'm gonna start with this guy I'm gonna do the Kokoto. The reason why I'm checking something real quick. Yes. The reason why we need to kill these Velociprey, that will unlock the Velocidrome quest. He's like the big daddy of them. Yeah. Okay. On the rebound, we can do that. See that? It tells you if you go to the, the quest givers, like the Bernagal, she'll tell you, hey, kill 15 Macau and wound the Great Macau's head. So we don't have to kill the Great Macau. We just have to wound his head, hit him enough times in the head, and you'll hear that little. Da, 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 da. You know, you know the music. Um, Subquest, and then we can don't kill the little guys first. Um, I could do that. Okay, this one is what I said I was gonna do. There is no subquest. We just have to go kill the little guys. Okay. There's no subquest for that. No subquest for that. Okay. This one's going to be very easy. Oh yeah. These are not key quests. Once again, the red page is slain. I know you heard it like a million times. But some of you guys might forget. Red is slain. Green is gathering. Which you're not. Get any healing items you need. I don't think you can pay Baldwin. Okay. Uh, before before we go out, I was gonna tell you something. This unlocks um, this unlocks bistro items. No no no, I'm sorry. This unlocks other quests. Like uh, no no no. I was right. It unlocks bistro bistro ingredients and other quests. So sometimes that's why it's good to do these filler quests. Well, this isn't really a filler quest. This is a villager request. The filler quests can do that too. Okay. Here we are in Verdant Hills. Hey, those of you who played the original uh, Monster Hunter 1 back on PlayStation 2, this is exactly what it looks like. This is pretty much where in Monster Hunter 1, the original. But 
Gotta get the poop. Gotta get the shit. Gotta get my poops. Okay. All right. Try to remember where the Velociprey are. I think they're in area three, maybe two. No, not here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's good to get these um, sap root. Oh, sap root. Yeah. Talk of sap plant. They're good for making bombs. I think bombs. I could be wrong, but they're good for making bombs. Oh no, no, no! There they are. Let me get that first. Got that. Thank you. No, you're gonna pay for that. gotta carve them quick that's why I go carve them right away because they'll disappear I don't keep saying that but some of you guys might not know this or you might forget I forget stuff all the time I have a good memory but I forget stuff a lot too what did I do uh, 10 of these got that Ivy. Those are actually good for pitfall traps, I think. And in case you forget, like I did. Yep, 10. I was right. I didn't forget. So we got two. We got eight more to go. Oh. Sometimes these guys will come in from other areas. Like this guy did. I think he came from area six. Uh, okay, I forgot how weak these guys are. Wait, oh, there's a there's one over there. Seven. Uh, the Velocidrome looks like this. He's just bigger and stronger. I forgot. I think he poisons. Yeah, I think he. I think the big one poisons. If I remember correctly, we'll find out when we fight him. Like I said, this this is um, on the way to fighting, to unlocking bistro items. I try to remember something. Wait, 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 wait. I try to remember what's. What I heard. Let's see if this. Yeah, you wave them. You wave at these balloons here. You wave at these balloons here, and I think it marks a uh, temporary location of large monsters. It's not telling me where the Velociprey are because we're only fighting these little babies. Besides, there's only there's only a few more left anyway. to like a halfway point it'll tell you how many monsters you have left in this case we have five so soon to be three if I get these guys uh. yeah if you already have enough uh, materials you don't always have to carve them but since we haven't made any armor from these guys yet, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, carve them. What do we got? Three? I lost count, didn't I? Get these guys. We're gonna fight their dad later. See, absolute evasion. 
it'll it'll help us um, dodge the attacks. What was that? Oh, okay. We should have two left after him, right? Let's do the ground slash. See, that's pretty cool, huh? How he, um, how my guy just he drags he drags his sword on the ground. Yeah, I'm glad they all came back. Thank you. I thought I was gonna pick the plant. Gotcha. Yeah, he moves just enough out of the way, huh? That's why it's a good idea to roll. Because then you can combo into that. It's kind of like... Cause if you're like me, and like to keep your your weapon unsheathed. If you, if you like to keep your weapon unsheathed, rolling, um, it makes you move faster. A little bit. It does use stamina, but it'll make it get to a monster faster. Because when your weapon is unsheathed, you're gonna move slow. Like, like this. You see? I don't run, but if I roll, I'm gonna get to him faster. Like, this bullfangle, I'm already on him. You see, he, he likes to, uh, he likes to, uh, he likes to stomp his feet first. That's what his dad likes to do too. A bull drum? Yeah, bull drum. But it, we're not quite there yet. We're gonna, we're gonna fight his dad later. That's complete. Hard quest, huh? Send to the item box. Some people could do this real fast, huh? I cannot. I don't have that kind of skill. Some people know how to press the buttons fast enough to make it look like it goes when you collect stuff. But Academy Points. Yep, save it. Okay. I think we unlocked the the quest to kill their dad. But before we do that, make sure you put away your the items you collect. Not take, but store. Because if you don't do that, your pouch is going to get full. And then you're going to be all pissed off because you have to discard stuff. You're like, hey, my, my stuff's full. Because she didn't put it away. Try to see what else I gotta put away. Uh, I, don't, I don't need cool drinks for this one. If we're fighting a Velocidrome. We're only, we're only like 15 minutes in. So, okay. Let me, let me check the bistro again. No. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He'll have a dial, he'll have a yellow dialogue. You see? Since we killed the, um... Since we killed the little Velocipray, we can do one of two things. We can go to Kokoto and find the villager, or we can go here to the Palico Ranch. If for some reason you just don't know where the villager is to turn in your quest, you go here to Neko, means cat. Go here. 
from here. Oh, uh, my bad. My bad. We have to go here. But at some point, you can go here. And turn in your request. But we cannot at this point. So we do have to go here. Go here, find the villager who gave you the quest. Talk to him and he'll give us our reward. There he is right there. The little old man right there. This looks like Monster Hunter 1, right? I told you guys this already. But yeah, this is the exact same village in Monster Hunter 1. The very first one. Yeah. See that? Wait, I completed those, huh? So that's complete on them. So looks like we have to go to Kokoto. Uh, Wait. This is Kokoto. Okay. You see? Now he has some more stuff to say. I think he has another re request for us. No, no, no. He doesn't. We gotta, we gotta take it. Nice. Let's look at our request log again. Go here. Let's, let's go back to the to Berna. <sighs> okay. Um, you know what? I did say we were gonna do the other villager request, didn't I? So. I don't think we're gonna be fighting the Velocidrome yet. Unless you want me to. We're 17 minutes in. Yeah. We just gotta do this little pinny request. Because I wanna show you guys a little bit more about these uh, Dozier requests. It seem like they're like, oh, why waste time? Why not waste time? you'll find that it is not a waste of time to do these. See? Because we killed a little Velociprey, the request is checked off and we can fight the dad. The Veloc Velocidrum. Yeah. We can do that, but we're not going to do that right now. We're going to do this. This one's a little bit exciting because we could uh, fight a great Macau. And, oh yeah. Didn't I tell you guys? Uh, I switched to Guild. And, yeah, because I switched to Guild, you see Absolute Evasion and Ground Slash. Collect your map, collect all the stuff you need. You show you how paint walls. How many? See, I, I forgot already. 15 Macau. And yeah, it told, it told us to hit his head, right? See here, it told us to wound up Macau's part. Great Macau's part. But we know what part we must wound by now. So, okay. Let's do a few of the little baby guys first. Get out of the way. Uh, if I see Great Macau first, I'll do that. Do that. You know what? I can do that. It can help build up my absolute evasion. Because remember when we fought Great Macau the first time? How he, how he likes to get on his tail and jump at you. 
this will help us be able to dodge that attack. Okay, okay. I don't think we need see our black see our black kitty. He'll steal your map. Thank you, Megabyte. My, my little kitty friends. They kept that guy from stealing from me. Those guys right there, the melees. Where you go? We were just fighting for it. For, see? He's coming to steal stuff from me. If he does take anything from me, I'm going to kick his ass. Because that's how you get your stuff back. Okay. I don't want to lose count. We only killed one, right? So we have 14 more to do. I think 14. Oh yeah. That's a sad roll. To get to him faster. Also you could dodge. I'll tell you I'll tell you how I got him to throw bombs. In a second megabyte. I'll tell you in a little bit after this. I'll tell you how I got him to throw those little bombs that you saw. Yeah. I suck, huh? I'm not even hitting him. A little late. I already killed him. You see? That's why I that's why I put Bombardier on Mabel. Not Mabel, Megabyte. Megabyte and Ma Mabel can do Bombardier. That's why I did that. Because if I miss, they can hit. Uh I have 11 more to go. Uh, I think he's in... Seven? I had a fake for a second. That's why it's a good idea to do this. Because it'll build up my meter. So I can do ground slash. When, I'm, when I fight Great Macau. It'll tell you how many monsters you have left. Ten monsters left. So if you lose count, the mission, mission, the quest will keep count for you. Also, if you go, if you go to the menu, you can see it too. I forgot. Nine more left. Cause I get so involved in the in the quest that sometimes I lose track, like of count. I don't lose track of like mechanics and stuff. But I just lose track of count. Nine. That's why. That's see. See what happens. The little black kitty stole my mega potion. I'm gonna get it back. Don't run away. If Take too long getting him. See? I got it back. Got that. Got my shit back. I'm glad he didn't take the map. That's why you gotta be careful about these guys. They still sell up at random. Next time it might not be a mega potion. It could be it could be something like a dash juice. Or mega dash dash juice. I don't need to kill that Renopolis. Wait. I heard some Oh, it's those guys. Oh yeah, that's good. It's a good thing I was doing that. Let me go to area five. Cause I want I want to do this sub quest before I finish off the little baby Macau's. 
Yes, I have to keep coming here. And double checking. See, I have seven left. You see, if I don't do this, I can easily forget. And I'll be like, oh, killing my, killing the little baby Macaws, as you see. And then next thing you know, quest ended and we can't do the subquest. I'm really trying to find this guy. Sometimes it takes a while for him to, to appear. No, he's not in Area 1. He's never in Area 1. He's most likely in Area 4. 7. And... I think he also appears in 2. Don't quote me on it. Told you not to quote me on it, because he's not there. Okay, four. It's a, I know I keep doing this over and over again. It seems boring, but I'm trying to do the subquest. Oh shit! I forgot to get my ration. You see, you see my stamina? The max stamina went down. Okay, we're, we're just back here again. We went in a circle, didn't we? Out of seven, if he is not in those areas, I'm gonna try nine. I'd never see him in nine. There he is. Okay, two drop. I missed him. I did a wrong run. That's what I meant to do. Now, I used it. I used it up. So now, we'll have to sheath the weapon. Dog. Why have to do that? See, that's why it's good to have um, absolute evasion because if I was not able to, to dodge, the auto evasion, the absolute evasion would have done it. In this case, let's do this. See? Got out of his way. But he didn't go, he didn't do that. He didn't try to pounce on me. He knocked me into area three. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. We can sharpen because we need to do that anyway, don't we? Let's get our first aid meds because we don't want to use our potions. Oh, yeah. I got to hit him in the head, don't I? So, let me try to get in front of his face. You see? That's why I, that's why I stay unsheathed because it takes about... It takes about a second to, to draw the weapon. Yeah, that's the thing about Great Sword. It is slow. Uh, you got me. That's why it's a good idea sometimes to to constantly sheave your weapon and then unsheave it. Damn it. I probably should have used longsword for this one. See it takes a little bit of time to actually make the move. You see? It takes about two seconds. That's why you get hit. Because it'll take it'll take time. Thank you. It'll take time to actually do that. That's why it gets tricky when you if you're not used to great sword. I'm used to it, so it doesn't matter. 
Uh, I forgot to paintball him. We try to. He usually goes to area eight. Sometimes he'll go to five. See? Okay. See, now he is marked. They always like to go to the edge. Okay, I think I hit his face. But you gotta hit it, not just once, but several times. To actually successfully break the part. What did he drop? Right into a bit. Oh, scale. Oh, wait. See? You have to do that more than once. Sometimes it takes quite a few times to actually do it. You have to be precise. That's why I'm being slower. Because I'm really trying to get to his face. Used up my first aid moves, time for potions. I didn't I didn't refill my potions, did I? See? I killed a, a Macau. I gotta be careful not to do that. I wanna, I wanna break his face first. I don't want to kill the babies yet. I got five. But if, it, if, it's, if it's children going, they'll get in the way. Then we'll accidentally finish the quest. Sometimes um, I'll hit his face. I mean, sometimes you can hit his head from the back. I'm getting flat on him. I think I'm almost there. I don't have to kill him, but like I said a few times, we have to break his face. And yeah, I don't want to kill those guys. I want to wait for them to get out the way. That's why it's taking a little while, because I'm trying to do this. Exactly. Damn it. See how it took like three seconds? Oh, uh, you know what? I might end up killing them before I do it. That's fine. That'll give me... I went the wrong... No, 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 I didn't. Yeah, I might, I might end up killing them. I actually finish the subquest? Maybe not. But that's fine. I get credit for it anyway. Okay. I hate those little guys. Those guys right there. They piss me off a little bit. Because they do stuff like that. No ram you. Like that. Yeah. Let me see if I can. Did I kill him? Oh, thank you. I did not finish the subquest, but you guys get what I mean. I didn't fail, but I still benefited off it. I still got the stuff like the. I can make more armor. I'm gonna kill these guys and end the quest. Cause you guys know what I'm talking about. And I showed you guys some other stuff too. Like some good ways to fight them. 
I could just let them bomb him, huh? Is this the last one? No, it is not. Let's see how many we got left. Two more. Okay. You guys, you guys do get what I mean, right? Uh, yeah. The breaking, the breaking parts. That's not always guaranteed. I mean, you can do it. I probably could have done it with a long sword, but great sword is more powerful. That's probably why I did not, and I killed it. What's my kitties bombed them too? They bombed the crap out of me. Yeah, I know it's a piece. Yeah. Rolling does a, a lot of help with dodging. Didn't do that because I was busy carving when he hit me. I like singing along. Where'd he go? Uh, did he did he clip through the map? No, he did not. I thought he clipped through the map at first. Uh, okay. I like to do the sub quest. I mean the yeah the sub quest. But I was unable to do that this time. But I suggest you guys. Um, Get a long sword and do it because if you use a stronger weapon like this you're gonna end up killing them before you even break apart oh yeah I almost almost forgot what I was doing while I was doing this quest this is a villagers quest request yeah so when I'm done with this when we get home uh, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was trying to guess if it unlocks Bistro. I don't think it does. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, these guys could do it fast, huh? I'm trying to do it fast. There's guys who can go bam, 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 bam. I mean, super fast. But they have better uh, hand coordination than I do. Yay! World, world record. Okay. You see? Because I did this, I learned new palical skills. Uh, I was able to get defense up and artful dodging. I'll show you that in a second. I wish I had wallpaper like that. Okay. We learned those palical skills. So, if you want to use those, or if you want to, your, your palico to have those skills. Oh. Um, I forgot to show you how I got a second kitty. I went over to the Palico Ranch. I'm gonna do that before I talk to the dialogue box. I'm gonna show you how I got the second kitty. I forgot if I told you guys that that already. Go to Meowstress. And here, you can hire Palicos. So go here, hire your Palico. Pick what you want, it'll let you name him or her. And then, where's it at? You go to the Palico board because if you if you hire him, they're not gonna be active yet until you select Palico. And you can pick, in this case, I picked Mabel. Let me go back to the house. I could have done all that here at the Palico board, but uh, since we're about to talk to somebody, 
I may as well continue showing this. Okay, so you you wanna you wanna be able to throw bombs and stuff, or make a guy throw bombs. Go into support moves. Select the calico, and there you go. Uh, um, I equip barrel mini barrel bombay, barrel bombay, and health horn. I mean, this one is a primary healer, so she is able to do that. And because we finished this request, I was able to have an additional skill. So now she could also throw bombs if I want her to, which in this case I do. Doesn't hurt, right? Got uh, double all kinds of bomb thrown thrown at him. Okay. This is who we need to talk to. This is the one who gave us the quest, huh? Wait, I was talking to I was talking to the wrong person. Da -da -da -da. Yep. I was talking to the other guy over there. <laughs> I'm glad I rushed through his dialogue. Looks like he gave us a stargazer flower. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. This guy, this guy wants to talk to us. See, that's why it, that's why it pays to do some of these uh, filler quests because it unlocks stuff. It unlocks the bistro. It unlock that stuff. Unlock other quests. No. Oh wait. Hunter shows the quest log. I believe we already completed those quests. But if you're getting confused like I did, you can always just go to the quest giver. You can always go to the quest giver and look look at this. Talk to the Bernagal. Other guys in other villages who give out quests. Go here. Look at that. Got that already. Got that. Yeah, that. Okay. You see? We have um, three more to do. Okay. Uh, this is not a key quest, but. It's still a villager's request, so we're gonna do that. This one, well, it'll give us what academy points. That's why it's a good idea to do some of these filler quests. Because they'll unlock stuff. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to do that to unlock more bistro. Make sure that wait 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 wait. Let's cancel the quest so I can get in the house. Oh no 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 no! I'm stupid. There's an item box right here. So if you did like I did and started the quest and forgot to to stock up on your potions, let's do this. Go to your item box. Wait, 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 wait. I stored by accident, didn't I? Okay. We need to restock on everything. Make sure you got everything you need. So you're not going to be shit out of luck. Not have enough healing. 
Oh, I don't need that other stuff. This time, I stole it. I gotta put it. I forgot to put this stuff away. Okay. Yeah, the timer does not start until we're already out in the area. So, it doesn't matter that I used up all this time. Because it's not going to run out of time and waste or fail the quest. Because if you run out of time, you see that you saw that clock on the upper left side? Yeah, that's your timer. And if it runs out, you will fail the quest. Alright, let's actually go do this. Oh, I have to slay five Velocipre, right? Once again, let's double check. Yep, five. So, I'm not going to kill the babies yet. No, 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 I'm sorry. Kill the babies first. Get your map. I know I keep saying it, but get your map. sure you get your poop. Gotta get the shit. You don't have to, but it's funny. It's funny seeing him digging in the shit. You can kill these guys for raw meat, which you can cook to make uh, well done steak. Kill five of these. I think I think Velocidrome is in area three. Yeah, if you have trouble hitting him, it's just best to do this. You'll, you'll end up hitting him. Roll to make it go to him faster. I'm sorry. I thought he killed him at first. Yeah. I almost wasted a potion. They do have a it has a long wind up with uh, Great Sword. Great Sword has a long wind up times. But it's, it's a pretty good weapon to use. It's, it's a damn good weapon. In some ways it is Sometimes it is better than a long sword because it just it has a big DPS damage per second. I have two down. Let's go kill the dad. Get our paint ball ready. You know what? He's not there. I'm trying to remember if he's in 10 or 9. Let's check 9. No, he's not there. Let's go to 10. I think he'll go from 10 to 9. Let me get that. Cool. He should be here. No, he is not. Well, since we're here, let's get the babies. Let's see if he'll get mad about me killing his kids. Uh, let's try area eight after we get this guy. See the last one? No, he is not. That's why you have to come here. 
And then you can find out who's like me. You just might lose track. Let's go to eight. Uh, if he's not an eight, he'll be in six. I think. I think. Sorry, guys. I forgot where he was. But, while we're looking for him, we could finish the Velasa Prey and complete the subquest. This should do it. Got that. See, when you do a subquest, bonus supplies, so they'll give you uh, bonus supplies. I believe that it's not here. Yeah. If there was a balloon, I could wave at it, and it should mark where the guy is, where the Velocidrome is. Uh, it's a good thing we're running around, huh? Let's try four. Order five. That's why it's a good idea to have a paintball. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the philosopher. Paintball. Let's get him out of here. He's not a hard monster. That's why it's good to roll and keep your weapon on shoot. Because then you don't have to do the wind up time. Yeah. He moved out of the way right when I did it. You don't have to carve every time. I'm just doing it. Yeah. You don't have to always card. I'm just doing it. That's why it's a good idea to do the, the sleeping attack. Because these guys are they're hard to hit if you do the vertical attack. Yeah, if you do the sleeping attack, you hit him a lot easier. Can I get that? Come on, come on, get it, get it, get it. Oh, he robbed me. Classic. I should have used absolute evasion. To hit him when he roars, so he'll stand still. Then you get a smack on him. He's got the wyvern tear, I think. I'm gonna get that because the wyvern tears give you extra points. No. Got that. See? He didn't like that, so he ran away. That's how you know you're sharpened. That's how you know you're... Uh, what am I trying to say? That's how you know you're kind of getting the upper hand on him. Because he'll run away. He'll be like, hey, this guy's going to kick my ass. 
Where is he? Oh, over there. The vertical, the vertical attacks, they have a long wind up time. That's fine because it's a stronger attack. And he'll always go back to a five, area five. And I think he rests. I think he sleeps here. Yep. He's a easy. He's easy. That's because we're we're only in two stars. You didn't want me to carve his baby. That's why it's good to do a combo. It's like the like when you do the vertical attack, it's always good to do a sleeping attack right afterward. Because you'll combo right into it. I didn't do that this time because the quest ended. But if you do this, you go right into this. Wait, 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 wait. Don't forget the card. Yeah, this is not a key quest, but this will unlock a uh, beast room. See? Now you can do that. You can go right into another combo. And if you, if you do it right and time it right, you can just keep doing this. Not sometimes you can do a stun lock. Not always, but sometimes. Sometimes you'll knock the crap out of him. And he'll just stand there and get hit over and over and over again. I mean, I mean he will jump out of the way. It doesn't work on every monster. I'm trying to go fast. Failed. I don't have that master coordination. Yeah, Mabel, Mabel left them. See? That's why we, that's why it's good to do these filler quests. Because support moves can be unlocked by doing them. Let's check the Palico board. Take a look here. Not here, but Palico skills, I think. Uh. I'm trying to. I'm trying to see something here. Never mind. I was trying to see what that skill I got is. Okay, now that we did the Velocidrome, there should be some more um, ingredients unlocked so the Bistro can make more stuff for you.
Oh. I guess not. I guess not. Oh, you know what? I'm stupid. We have to go turn in the quest first so we can get the the rewards. Then we can go to that guy. Yeah. Go to da, 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 da. Gotta stop and do that. Yeah, go to him first. Go to your quest giver first. And then we can go to the bistro. that you can go to, to your house in each village. I just want to show what it looks like. It's cool. That's the Monster Hunter 1 house. Those of you probably remember this house. Anyway, let's go here. Let's go see if indeed the bistro has new ingredients. If he doesn't, Oh well. I was wrong again. Wait. No, no, no. I'm wrong. Oh, you know what? I did another brain fart. I talk? Okay. Talk to him. And then talk to her. The uh, mind guard sweetheart. Oh wait. I think she wants you to do she has she wants you to do another favor for him. For her. Oh wait. So somebody to talk for oh, that guy. Yeah, I think we have to do all the dialogue, dialogue bubbles. All right. Let's see if this unlocks more ingredients. I heard the little ting. Think now should do it. Let's check. Should be a dialogue box box above the bistro's head. If not, I think I, I think I forgot. Because it un, it unlocks the bistro. I know it does. Um, more bistro. I'm checking something real quick. I'm not using the wiki. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm using some stuff that I wrote down a long time ago. Okay, okay. Yeah, sorry guys. I think, I think we have to do some other quests first. Let's take a look. Okay. Let's just do this real quick. 
You see, this is not a slaying quest. That's why it's great. Yeah, because we killed because we killed a uh, Velocidrome, it unlocked this um, quest. So I gotta do is just come over here, grab the pop pass ticket, go over to the red box, and it, that should be it. Ta da! Rest in the bed. I'm trying to remember uh, what unlocks more bistro. I'll have to research it and then get back with you guys. Thirteen seconds. <laughs> World record. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Like I like I keep saying. Sometimes it's good to do these filler quests. Because if you don't do them, some stuff you might miss out on. I'm trying to remember exactly which ones unlock which, but I know a lot of them. Oh, you know what? You know what? You see, the, you saw those three that said new, like the Bullfangle Tangle, Primo Sashumi, and Verdant Hills Accounting. Well, these two right here. No, this one. I think they unlock Bistro. You see, we, we did the uh, villagers quest. We, we, we quest for one and two. Actually, we can go on to a three star quest right now. But I'm not going to do these now. I'm going to do them next time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end it and uh, end the video. Well, guys, uh, you got you guys. I hope you guys uh, learned something from here from this episode. Um, I showed you some strategies on the Velocidrome. I showed you what it unlocks. Uh, I showed you what unlocks that quest, the Velocidrome quest. Because you're not gonna get right to it from one, uh, one star. You gotta do the little philosophies. You gotta kill those. And um, with all that said, oh yeah, I showed you a little bit more about how I got the extra, the pink guy here. I showed you how I got her. And once again, I hope you learned something from here. And. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch this and I hope you like what uh, what I was doing okay I'll see you again with more I'll see you next time with more MSGU happy hunting